Hola amigos, it's Will here at Will's Custom Figures coming at you today with a special big bad breakdown of the one and only the first lady of professional wrestling, Miss Elizabeth. So please sit back and relax while I see you through why and how I made her and everything else in between. So let's get into the nitty gritty. This is Miss Elizabeth. This is the second time I've had the pleasure of working on this figure. And oh my God, what a treat. Absolutely just capturing everything that I could possibly capture in a Miss Elizabeth figure in tribute to her. Rest in peace. Unfortunately, passed away many years ago for anybody that doesn't know. Um, but this was, she was the first real woman of wrestling. And getting the chance to, you know, immortalize her in figure form. Yes, this head is like a WWE um elite figure but at the same time she has never had a retro hasbro of herself and you know th this is what i do on this channel man if you guys have been watching for a while this is what i do so here is the hulk star coming in as you all know for the controversy between the hulk hogan and macho man rivalry this is uh an absolutely iconic pairing from back in the uh the glory years of professional wrestling i can still see it now macho man hulk hogan you hug me like a brother but you've got lust in your eyes oh man lusting over miss elizabeth and oh my god if macho was here as well he wouldn't be happy but hopefully the hulkster likes this video because he is the only one of the three of them remaining now let me zoom in on miss elizabeth so you guys can uh, see some of the details while i explain how i made her as mentioned before i did use the um wwe elite miss elizabeth head sculpt the body is made using a funko pop base there is a line of Funko Pops. Um, I can't remember their names now. But um, yeah, I had this uh, casted. And uh, then I've added on all of the little extras. So like the uh, the arm, the, the sleeves that go up the arm. Um, I've added on the skirt. I've added on this uh, rest of the dress here. As you can see, it really does look like it's flowing. And that's what I wanted to get out of it. I wanted it to look really, really nice. And uh, I think I've done that. And uh, as you can see here with the heels, I would like to have sawn out and left an actual heel, but I did this before and it didn't stand very well. So um, yeah, that's what I've done with the heels. I've kind of filled that bit in there. And as you can see, stands really well. And for a size comparison, look at these two next to each other. Really, really stands well and uh, not too tall, not too small. I think just the right size for me. I wish I had a macho in my collection right now to show you guys how they look together. And um the other thing as well, just to mention is with this figure, very, very challenging to get a female looking Hasbro character. Well, this is more of a sculpture. It doesn't have any, have actually have any articulation, but very, very difficult to get a body type that fits it, you know, with the slightly more cartoonish looks. Now, if I just move this one over a little bit, and I'm going to move Hawkster out of the way. You've probably seen some of the other videos, but here they are. Here is Vince and the Fink. And as you can see, looking pretty cool. She's a little bit taller than them, but she does have big heels on. And then here is a size comparison next to the one and only Follow the Brain Heenan and Gorilla Monsoon. So uh, yeah, if you want one of these in your collection, guys, please feel free to reach out and uh, let me know in the comment section below. It'd be an absolute treat to get to work on uh, a Miss Elizabeth for somebody else. And I'd love to do a different outfit, to be honest. One of my uh, main things with Miss Elizabeth that I'm really, really excited to work on, hopefully one day, would be uh, to be commissioned to work on one that sits right on top of that shoulder, just like this. Bam! Wouldn't that look really, really cool to have Miss Elizabeth on top of there? But yeah, that is it from me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this recent set of videos. If I had to rank them from my favourite to my least favourite, it would be extremely hard to do. I think Gorilla, with everything, all the glitz, the glam, the extras, the, the glasses that comes with him, the headset, the, you've got Bobby the Brain Heenan as well with the mic. It's going to be very, very difficult to me to rate my top five out of these. I'd probably say my favourite two would be Gorilla 
and Vinny Mac. I absolutely no, mm, no Gorilla and the Fink. Yeah, Gorilla and the Fink. I'm sticking with it. That's it. It's done. But from me, from the first lady of professional wrestling, thank you for watching this video for nearly five minutes now. I appreciate your time. If anybody wants a set of these, if you want to find out how to make them or if you want me to work on a set for you please let me know in the comment section below and um yeah please follow me on facebook follow me on instagram and if you've been watching for this long on youtube give me a follow and a subscribe and tick the notification bell on youtube as well there's lots more videos like this coming very very soon and it has really been a treat getting to spend this time with you guys merry christmas i'll see you on the next one